two wheels this week, Wayne takes his puncture to the repair shop. We look at a CCM Supermoto, and as it's Easter Sunday, we're off on an Easter egg run. Well, you must have noticed by now because the kids have been nagging you for their Easter egg that this is Easter weekend. This is a lovely sunny day, the beginning of summer. And we're at what would be obvious, really, because it's Easter weekend and what do you get when you have two wheels? You get Easter egg runs. And this is Ginger's Easter egg run. Uh, not actually the norm. This is a little different to what we've covered in the past with various different toy runs at Christmas and so on, because this involves scooters. Scooters from all over the flipping place. In fact, Ireland and Kent and everywhere have come to this Easter egg run. And here we have a bunny. How are you? All right, mate. I've brought you some gear. I thought you wanted you taking part in this run, so I brought you a and, new... And when I said gear, I meant bike gear. This is made by Furigan. <laughs> Oh, uh, a classic. Like a joke, and but not funny, that Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. And you expect me to so, wear this, uh, do you? Yeah, you put it on, and um, I've got you the scooter sorted out, and you can... You've got me a ride, have you? Yeah. On a scooter? Yeah, I've got to wear Wearing that, Wearing this? Yeah, you carry on, I'll look after this. You uh, hop off and get ready, eh? Bye. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this stupid outfit here now and put it on this scooter here. Now, listen, stay boy, stay boy. Right then, this is Ginger's Easter egg run. So, this is Ginger. Ginger, now tell us all about what we're doing here today. Why are we here? Uh, we're taking uh, Easter eggs and toys to Penderbury Children's Hospital in Manchester. There's hundreds of scooters. I mean, I expect you 30 or 40. How many have you got? Five, six hundred maybe. And all over the place? From all over England. And we're, we've got some from Southern Ireland as well. So they'll come all over the place to yeah. take Easter eggs to the kids at the hospital. That's it's a good right, move. Yeah. How did you start? What's the idea come from? It um, started about 11 years ago when we were thinking of uh, how to get good publicity for us instead of the normal shit, like. So they thought we'll come up with this idea. Um, we've got local paper interested, Manchester Evening News, and they put some in the paper. And they just carried from there onwards every year. And it's grown into the size it it's is grown, now. It's yeah. grown, yeah. How long will it take to get from where we are now to the hospital? 45 minutes. With the aid of the police, who the are all the police. slowing us down a bit, are they? That's they right, just keep yeah. us under control. Yeah, they give us police escort through the red lights and everything, like, you know, yeah. it's all above board and legal. It's a very well organised thing. Yeah. How did it, you know, I mean, how do you, it must take months. What do you do? How do you start? I've started for next year now. Already? <laughs> Already, yeah. Yeah. You and the missus and all the help you can get? Yeah. 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 Is it a club that you've, that you're part of that does the run? No, it's, it's my own personal thing, but I am a member of a scooter club, Bolton Spartans. Go on then, make the most of it. Where do we start and where do, where do we go to for the Bolton Spartans? Uh, you can meet at Atherton Collieries Football Football Club in Atherton every yeah. Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Do you get that? Uh, we'll have a pun. Right then, enough of the pun. We know what it's all about. I suppose the job is to get on with it, isn't it? Yes. And enjoy the run. Thanks yeah. very much. No we problem. wish you the best of luck. Keep it up, Ginge. Thank you Do it for many much. years to come. Thank you. Now, Wayne said before that people had come from all over the place and uh, even across the water. Just to prove the point, this is Shazzy. Shazzy, where have you come from for this? come from Dublin in Ireland. Right. Well, um, just for this, just for the Easter egg run? Well, there's only one egg run, so this, you have to be here. This is the, the big one, is it? Absolutely, yeah. It's yeah. the only one. It's the only yeah. one. So, uh, I mean, you just... I can't believe you've come across the water just to give eggs to kids. What are you going to get out of this? Uh, well, to be honest, it's for the kids, but, I mean, everyone loves the buzz of driving down the road together. Right, brilliant. That's what I was hoping you were going to say. I mean, we didn't get nothing out of it, do we? It's just a, a goodwill gesture. So, have you, have you ridden across? No, well, actually, I got a mate of mine to drive this one across, but I came across another one. On another scooter? Yeah, but there's a load of us over on. We've come over on the bikes. Uh, it's not that far, to be honest, from Liverpool. It's only about uh, 30 miles down the road once you get off the ferry. Right, that's so it's not that far. So are you part of a... How do you get involved with this? How do you get to know about it? Are, oh. you, a, are you in a club in Dublin? Yeah, well, I've, I've actually got a shop in Dublin as well, like, right. so I'm, I, it's the whole thing. Business pleasure, the whole lot. Selling scooters and bits. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And, fully and blown. This is your fantastic machine with, uh, with a lovely picture of Ryan Giggs on the side of there. So you <laughs> must be a keen red as well, then. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Red, red, red or dead, as I call it. And, and who's on this side? George Best's on the other side. My, my idol, my childhood idol, George Best. Right, well, uh, enjoy the run. Have you got a van load of Easter eggs as well? Do you bring them with you? Uh, we've got quite a few, yeah. Okay. We've got quite a few. Just Excellent. hope they don't melt. So you do, you do it every year? Every year, yeah. Without fail? Without fail. 
That's brilliant. That's uh, fantastic. Well, uh, well, good on you and keep it up. Thanks very much. Thank you. So here we are at the Children's Hospital, Ginger. It was great fun. We had a laugh, laugh in that convoy. Deaf question, has it been a success? Total success. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And the weather's held out, which is nice. The weather's been brilliant. I think God's smiled on us here. He has. Um, any idea how many scooters on the run? Roughly <laughs> five to six hundred. Have you counted them? No, a police, a police <laughs> estimate. They're very good at estimating things, oh. the police. <laughs> yeah, I like that very well put, yeah. So five or six hundred all yeah. loaded up with Easter eggs. What happens now? We take them in there for... Take them into the hospital, yeah. um, have a drink of orange, yeah. and then they wander back to Lowton afterwards for a custom show yeah. and stuff like that. And I'll get drunk, yeah. And get drunk. Smashing sounds good to me. Um, might be a daft question, this. Same time again next year, is it? It's 19th and 20th of March next year. Yeah. Already booked? Already booked. Right. And the year 2000. Yeah, well, that'd be a good one, won't it? We'll be a good one. Right, smash him. Well, good luck. Keep up the good work. Well done. Thank you very much. And a great day was had by all. Eggs delivered, all the bikes here, or scooters, should I say. Nobody's fell off. Lots of happy, smiling faces. I just need now to find me rabbit. Uh, there's a rabbit. There it is. Hey, come here. How's this for something different? Now we've looked at super moto bikes before on two wheels, but those were machines that started life really as trail bikes and they were converted to super moto. You might recall the Honda XRs that we looked at up in Scotland. Now the guys that owned those machines had spent many hundreds of pounds fitting road wheels and road tires and some pretty hefty front brakes as I remember. But you don't have to do all that work yourself. You can now buy a super moto machine straight off the shelf. Just like this, it's a CCM 604E Supermoto. This might all look very familiar. Indeed, many of you will have seen this bike before. It's the same machine that I used when I was trail riding around the Lake District. Well, almost. Then it had a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear and it was fitted with some nice big knobbly tyres to cope with the dirt. But if you don't fancy the messy stuff, you can have this road version. The same bike, but now we've got 17 inch road wheels fitted with some nice sticky Pirelli Dragon tyres. And you need to keep reminding yourself that you're on road tyres when you climb aboard. It feels so natural on a bike of this style to head for the gravel and crack the throttle as you would when running on a pair of knobblies. Not recommended on road tyres. 
I'm talking of cracking the throttle open. This 597cc Rotax motor has got loads of low down power, as you'd expect from an off-road bike. It's very, very torquey. It really does throw you back in the seat when you whack it open. Great fun. It's a fairly basic engine. Air-cooled, single overhead cam, four-stroke. Drives a five-speed gearbox and it develops 52 brake horsepower. And that gives you a top speed of just over 100 miles an hour. We'll forget all about top speeds. If you like to travel fast with some degree of comfort, then buy a sports tourer. All the fun on a supermoto happens at relatively low speeds. It's a great bike in the city. The high seat gives an excellent view of the road ahead. And if you actually stand up on the pegs, you can see over virtually anything else on the road. At just 276 pounds in weight, it's light enough to nip through busy traffic. And the bike is so narrow that you can slice through a jam with ease. It's not just a city bike, it's equally at home on twisty roads. It's very comfortable and the handling is precise and predictable. I've had this bike for a couple of weeks now and it's provoked lots of different comments, mostly things like, wow that looks cool, that looks like a lot of fun. Or one particular comment was, who's nicked half your bike? <laughs> well, what he actually meant was, what's holding your back wheel on? Because when you look from the back, there appears to be well, nothing really. But there is a white power suspension unit there mounted straight onto the swing arm but it isn't actually visible from the back of the bike. It gives it this kind of suspended in mid-air look. Very cool. There's nothing very high-tech about the 604E. Everything is here for a reason, and if it isn't needed, then it quite simply isn't there. The dashboard, for example, nearly isn't there. We've got um, a Speedo, and, um, well, that's it. We've got a Speedo. One great plus on this bike, and on a bike of this style, is an electric start makes life very, very easy. It's no fun having to kick over a big single cylinder on a cold winter's morning. And the brakes, definitely worth a mention. Brembo brakes front and rear, and the rear, I have to say, is tremendous. Just the merest dab on the pedal, and the back wheel just locks up instantly. It really is fantastic. And that's about it. What you see is what you get. And £5,350 gets you this Supermoto. And for £400 less, you can have the off-road version with knobbly tyres. And if you can't decide which one you want, then you can pay £6,000 and have this bike with two sets of wheels. Road ones for Mondays to Fridays and big knobbly tyres for playing in the mud at weekends. £6,000. Two bikes for the price of one. I'll settle for that. After the break, Wayne gets his puncture repair. So what do you do on these occasions when you've got a hole in your tyre? You get it fixed, you get it fixed by the professional. And I know just the man. Ian, come here a minute, will you? Hi, right, Wayne, what have you got this time? I've got here a puncture. Well, I've got a hole. Well, I've got a nail where the hole is, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's not a problem. Can you do something with it? Yeah, let's get it in and get it on the machine get it stripped off, eh? S stripped off? All Good right. Point. That'll nice. Go. You bung me wheel on this fancy machine. Yep. You've obviously broken the bead so you can start to remove it. That's right. My first worries and concern, which I know the guy out there will be concerned about, is, is there any damage going to occur to the rim? Or no. Not? No, no damage will occur. All the equipment we're using is covered in plastic. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Same with the, the head for removing it, it's Teflon coated. And same with the tie lever as well. So it's a bit of a lethal weapon there. Don't be swinging Is that around just... at me, mate. You get me all, all concerned. Right. So, all right then, go on. Right. Let's, uh, let's see off. what you do here to get this off. So have you sussed out the puncture problem or do you do that after you've got the tie off? If I can't actually see the hole, then I'll try it in the bath first. Yeah, yeah see where it, it is and mark it, do you then? Yeah, yeah. mark it up. Fortunately, Dirty great big screw in this one. Yeah, we've seen that, haven't we? I see what you mean, yeah. So so the only thing that's actually running around there is that thing which is protected. That's right. Got you right. Because it is, you know, I mean people have these wheels painted up, don't they? And they're concerned. Oh, they're about, yeah, exactly. So they don't want damages, but I can see that there's no likely damage occurred. Right then. 
Okay. So we've got the tyre off. And so can we see? Oh, I see. Blinking yeah. it. Yeah. That's a big dude, is that, isn't it? Yeah, we did well finding that. You know, we spent hours and hours riding around trying to find a puncture so we could come here and have this done. But right, we've sussed out that there is obviously an offending article. That's right. So now you, you I presume we go somewhere so, else. Take it out, take it over to the bench, let's get it repaired. Right then, we'll go and do that, shall we? Okay. Right. Okay, you got it? Yep. Right, let's get this sorted out for you, Wayne. There's the screw. What's uh, what's this device then? It's, it's a tyre spreader. Yeah. Just widens the tyre up, let me get into it. So let me get into it. And like a second it. pair of hands, it holds it all for you, does That's it, while right. you're busy working? Yep. Talk the second pair of hands, should we just pull down that for me, please, Wayne? I will indeed, all right. Ooh, doctor, doctor. Okay. Right, is that all right there, like Yeah, that? that's great, that. Right, let's get the screw out. It's a fairly big screw, is that, and it's quite a big hole. Well, it will leave a big hole. Will that be a problem, now? Does it matter how big the hole is? It does matter how big the, the hole is. Uh, certain tyres have got certain limitations on the size of screws that can go in. Yeah. Also, the number of screws that go into the tyre. And tire. repairs you, you can make. Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. So do okay. you, what do you do? Do you appraise each situation as it arrives? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so obviously it's where the hole is, because you can't do them if they're on the sidewall, can you? No, you like can't. That? You can only do it like on the, the top. centre of the got tread. Your drift. All right, then. It's also the tyre's got to be worth repairing. Of course, uh, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. I mean, we've got a bit of tread out. on this, but if it had no tread on, there's no point, is there? That's right. So this now, are you just <laughs> cleaning and tidying the hole up? Yep. And do you, does this also make it the correct size for the plug? For the plug patch itself, yeah. yeah. Right, OK. And what this looks like, something, it's you know... buffing wheel. Basically, it just cleans up oh, the right, area, yeah. makes sure it's free of dust. Oh, I thought for a minute you were going to do my nails, you know. They're not being so clean and tidy. I thought you were going to tidy them <laughs> up. Can do. Right. It's a horrible sound. But it reminds me of the dentist. Right, so you're cleaning the area up. Yep. To do what now, then? Basically preparing it for the glue. For the glue, yeah. right. And that'll be a special type of glue, presumably? Yeah, it's... Uh, Purpose for mainly made... Vulcanising fluid. Right then, yeah. And this is, this is just cleaning the job up with just the right up, stuff, yeah. yeah. Right, just need to apply the glue. Right, yeah. And leave it for a few minutes to dry. A few minutes, does this give us enough time to go for a brew? Oh, aye. Oh, right, enough. Hey, <laughs> hey, we'll have a bit of that. Right, that was a fine cup of tea, but I need another sugar next time. You know, you Not don't get fat like this without uh, having lots of sugar in your tea. Right, right then. Just so, do you reckon this is all right? Yep, it's about ready, that now. All right, let's put the probe in. The probe. Oh, Aye. good lord. I bet that would hurt. This looks decidedly like a crocheting tool. Not that I do a lot of crocheting in my spare time. Ah, this is it. It's similar, it's just for pulling the plug Pulling through. it through, right then. Right. You make a lot of them fireside carpets and things. Here, All the house is full of them. Yeah. This will be sticky as well, will it? No, it's not actually. Oh, is it not? No, that's just... Just keep it clean. Just protection, keep it clean, yeah. keep it free of dust. I knew that, honest. I knew all that. OK. Put a bit of glue on this stalk just to... So it's not the stalk... To lubricate that actually, it. Actually, the stalk goes in the hole. Yeah. But the patch is really on the inside that seals the air. Yes. Why, why then have a bung? Why not just patch it on the inside? The plug basically just stops any water getting inside the steel cords, which actually holds the tyre together. Right. So it's oh, a little nice. bit more than meets the eye then, oh, isn't yeah. it, really, obviously. Well, we'll just pull that through. Is this a specifically designed device for this tyre? Yes. Right. And they'll be obviously complying to, presumably, some British standard? Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, it's all up to standards, uh, all the equipment we're using. Does this mean then that when somebody brings in the tyres and says, I want it doing, that you have to appraise each one individually because it just might not yeah, be well, diff repairable? Different tyres uh, yeah. have different limitations yeah. on them, yeah. all down to the speed rating, yeah. uh, size of the holes. And so on and so forth. Yep. And how many patches it's already had, if That's it's right. had any, and so on, right. Yeah. Right, we just need to snip that off. And then what, I presume now, is that it then? That's it, just roll it out, and it's ready to go back on the rim. Flipping it. It's not a lengthy process, it's a sort of a 10, 15 minute job altogether. But obviously, you need to be experienced and clever at it, you have to have the right equipment. I mean, not everybody's got a tire removal tool at home, and a wheel balancer, and so on and so forth. No. You have to have the right kit. That's so right. what goes on now, you will, this is this bit done. Yep. Bung that back on the wheel. Yep. 
Pump it up. Yeah. Check it for leaks. All right, what do you do with that? Stick it in the water. Stick it in the water, check it for leaks. Yeah. So it can go and balance it. And it's ready to go back on your bike. All right, I'll let you get on with that. Okay. Cheers, Jim. Oh, okay. nice one. It's still wet, okay? It's just from dipping it and checking it's it. Checking all right. pressure, yeah. And it's all right, is it? Everything's fine. And it's balanced as well, is it? It is. All spot on. So this means now then, you've repaired it, yep. you've checked it, yep. you've balanced it. This would ordinarily mean that I'm supposed to uh, give you some money for this repair. That's the idea. Is it? Right then. Well, let's just try and get off that a bit. But, all right then, if I was to give you some money for this repair, right. about how much money would I be giving you? Be looking for a repair like that, just over ten pounds. Really? Yep. That includes the, the repair and the balancing. The balancing, organising the lot. So you'd save an absolute fortune, wouldn't you? Well, if I, you know, I mean, because a lot of people believe that when they've got a hole in the tyre, that that's it, it's dead. No. Throw it away. One hundred and twenty quid worth oh, yeah. of, of superbike tyre. Yeah. Throw it away. That isn't the case. You've obviously repaired this. That's right. But not much more than ten quid. Aye. Don't go buying for money. Right then. Well, I'll just go and put this back on the wheel. And you know that famous saying that the checks in the post. Oh yeah. Mm. Checks in the post, honestly. Right. On Two Wheels next week, Jeff goes back to his youth as he tracks down some old British classic motorcycles in deepest Cheshire. <laughs> <laughs>